we're gonna take a look at a, a few exponents and radicals type questions, right? So we gotta be familiar with all this stuff. So as we start, so we had two different questions here, so we have a total of six in this video. They're all fairly quick. Um, x to the third times x to the fourth divided by x squared. So the key that we need to know here is that when we're multiplying something with the same base, right? So x and x, so it's the exact same thing, so that's the same base. Then we add the exponents, right? Three plus four is seven. So we would have x to the seventh all over x squared, right? And then when, once we get here, right? And same base again, just next, seven minus two, then we would subtract the exponents, come up with x to the fifth. Right, so when multiplying, gotta add the exponents. When dividing, subtract, okay? Let's do another one, same basic setup. Uh, we have x squared times x to the eighth divided by x to the fourth, okay? So remembering, right, when we're multiplying exponents with the same base, we add two plus eight is 10, x to the 10th, all over x to the fourth, right? Uh, so we added the exponents when we were multiplying, and then when we're dividing, we are going to subtract, right? We're gonna subtract 10 minus four, that's six. That's our answer, x to the sixth, okay? So there's a little look at uh, both multiplying and dividing uh, exponents with the same base. You're not gonna see anything that doesn't have the same base, so don't even concern yourself with that. Um, all right, let's look at, okay, so negative exponents. That can be a little bit tricky. Two to the negative two, and the other one we do is three to the negative two. Is that right? Yeah. Okay, these would be two real common ones that you'll see. Um, so when you do that, so all you're really doing is uh, pretend, so if two squared equals four, right? But when it's two to the negative two, we put a one on top of the four, right? And so two to the negative two equals one fourth. Um, pretty simple, right? That's really what you do. You just need to know you put a one on top of it, on top of whatever the exponent would actually equal, right? So if it's three to the negative two in this example, right? Three squared is nine. So that's now the denominator, and then we put a one on top of it. It's that simple, right? If it was three to the negative three, let's say, right? Three to the third is 27. Three times three is nine. Nine times three is 27. You put a one on top of it. You get one over 27. Okay, so that's how you do negative exponents. Put a one on top of it, and then put the denominator just what the normal uh, answer would be. Okay, we got two more. Okay. Okay. So here we have x squared to the fourth, right? So the typical mistake here is that people add these two exponents together. Right, where when you have one inside the parentheses, one outside the parentheses, you have to multiply these two. Two times four is eight. So we get x to the eighth, not x to the sixth. Okay, one more chance here, right? We have x to the fourth to the fifth power, right? So again, we are going to multiply the four and the five. So we get x to the 20th, but not x to the ninth. 